Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. So you're probably thinking, why on earth would you purposefully make yourself break out? I'm just gonna say you probably aren't familiar with the thin fabric of sanity that holds this channel together. You read the title right, I made myself break out. I did it purposefully with intention, intentionally. I wanted to f my skin up, okay? Now, why did I do this? Well, there's a couple of reasons. So first of all, I'm a skincare channel. I talk about everything skincare. I try to make all the complexities of skincare as interesting and entertaining as possible, which I mean, you're the judge of whether that's working or not. But being that I have a skincare channel, I am constantly trying new skincare products out all the time and I'm constantly finding new products to recommend to you guys but sometimes I don't 100% know if a product is actually as effective as it says it's going to be because I have such a regimented skincare routine already in place. I feel like I know my skin pretty well and I know what to do to make sure that it doesn't go crazy. And thank God I can finally say that because it only took years for me to figure out what actually works for my skin. But there's a problem there because when it comes to acne and breakouts, a lot of times when I'm using products specifically made for breakouts, I won't know how effective it actually is because I already have a skincare routine that's set up to make sure I never break out. So for anyone who's watching and struggling with breakouts, that kind of means that it makes it a little more difficult for me to be able to truly recommend the best products out there for recovering from a breakout. So I thought, Hiram, why don't you be crazier than you already have been in your other videos, which, you know, is saying something, and purposefully make yourself break out and then try to recover your skin. And the same logical part of my brain was like, no, Hiram, that's a terrible idea. But the YouTube part of my brain was like, yeah, yeah, content! Because I'm reaching for whatever I can get at this point. <laughs> and also, I wanted to be able to share with you guys the best ways that I've been able to find to recover from breakouts from the experiences that I've had in the past as well as this experience because likely some of you guys who are watching are currently struggling with a breakout and are looking for solutions. And I want to be able to provide you with the best steps to be able to make sure that you can recover from your breakout as fast as possible. So let's get into it. So I lost my earrings. It's a really funny story actually that I don't feel like getting into, but I'm kind of living for this like rose. I mean, word on the street is this if you're gay and you don't have a dangly earring, are you actually gay? So before I get into how I fix my breakout, I wanna show you guys some clips of me going through the process to make sure that I did purposefully break out and what that was like. So enjoy. Hi guys, so I am starting on this journey of, just think of every negative word in the dictionary and you got it. See, like I used to struggle with acne and pimples all the time. I always had at least five pimples the size of craters on my face. And that was like so much fun. But since then I've managed to figure out like a really good skincare routine that kind of helps keep all of that at bay. But in addition, I have also figured out which kind of diet works best for my skin. And one thing that I have noticed when it comes to my skin that makes it just freak out is every single time I have candy or just a lot of sugar, I break out. But I'm about to walk to the grocery store to get a ton of junk food for this video specifically. And if I play my cards right, I should be breaking out in about three days, two to three days. As painful as this is, at least it's not gonna be like the video where I went a week without using skincare. If you wanna see that video, oh, that was a nightmare. So uh, come join me on my travel vlog to the store. <laughs> okay, what to get? What to get? Always gummies. Just which ones? I can't decide. Oh, I can't decide. A few moments later. I just got back and I'm gonna show you guys my haul. One bag of peach rings, gummy worms, mango haritos, and guava haritos. So I feel like this should be good for one night. If you guys were thinking that I'm gonna, you know, wait a week to finish these, oh hell no. Absolutely not. This is Hiram you're talking about. I can down all of this in one single night. But in order to not die, I'm gonna have some avocado toast first because I have not eaten anything all day and the iced coffee that is in my stomach is starting to uh, churn. Let's destroy this digestive system, shall we? Cheers. 
Anyway, let's dig in. Which one should we have first? I kind of want to have these first. And just so you know, I'm not going to document like the entire process of me eating these because I'm sure you guys have much better things to do with your time. I originally was going to do some work at a cafe just on my computer, but I kind of don't want people judging me as I down three bags of candy and two sodas. Just personal preference. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. One eternity later. All right, so I've been sitting doing work. Why do I look so pale? All right, so I've been sitting, I've just been doing computer work and smacking and surprise, surprise, I feel like I want to throw up. It's been a little while since I've had like candy and oh. Two hours later. Hi guys, I just finished doing my nighttime skincare routine. I'm about to head to bed. That's kind of why my face looks a little bit more red and shiny. Lighting was better back there. So basically I finished the bag of gummy worms and the bag of Twizzlers and one soda. I'm partially disappointed in myself that I didn't finish all of it, but at the same time, I'm also kind of glad I didn't finish all of it. Anyway, my skin isn't looking too bad right now. We'll see how it looks when I wake up in the morning. I'm thinking, like I said before, it's probably going to be about two days before I really see the brunt of it, maybe all the way to four days. Honestly, after eating all this shit, I think it's going to be rough. All right, I'm gonna head to bed. Good night, guys. See you later. Yeah, and that was all I recorded. I am not a vlogger, okay? I do not do well with like filming in any kind of setup different than the one that I have right in front of me. I'm just fucking lazy, okay? But as you can see here in these pictures, I did experience some breakout across my face. Now, is it the worst breakout in the world? No, it's not. I've had a lot worse, but it was definitely worse than what my skin usually looks like. Now, here's the thing when it comes to me and breakouts. I am not the type of person to get like a crazy amount of acne all over my face, but when I break out and I have a pimple, that thing is visible from outer space and everyone notices it and no amount of concealer is going to cover that shit up. And then I'll get a scar afterwards that without products will take months, if not forever, to heal. Hence why I'm so particular about what products I use and what I do to take care of my skin so that I don't break out. So while it may not look like I'm having the worst breakout out there, trust me, bitch, it's a pain to deal with. All right, so let's get into how I help to my breakouts and how you can help yours. There are five steps to my solution that I'm going to get into. The first is probably the most obvious and simple one. You need to cleanse your skin. Cleansing your skin is so important because one of the main factors in breakouts is that you're accumulating dirt, sebum, and oil in your pores, which builds up, it blocks your pores, seals over, and creates basically a mini sore. And one of the main ways that you can prevent this from happening in the future is to make sure that you are cleansing your skin every morning and every night. Now, if you're not new to my channel, this will come as no surprise to you, but my favorite cleanser in the entire world for preventing breakouts and just making sure my skin looks amazing is this one right here, the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Cleanser. Oh my lord, it's so good. I love it because it doesn't overly strip the skin, but it makes sure to deeply cleanse so that you don't have blocked pores. But another option out there that I think is really good as well for anyone who does struggle with breakouts pretty frequently is the Inky List Salicylic Acid Cleanser. This is formulated with what it says, salicylic acid. It's an incredible ingredient that deeply exfoliates the skin by going deep into your pores and pushing out all the dirt and oil and excess sebum to make sure that you don't break out but also that your skin doesn't build up dead skin cells, which will also contribute to breakouts in the future. It's pretty much the best ingredient, in my opinion, for people struggling with breakouts, and I think in a cleanser form is definitely a good way to get started on it, especially considering the low price of this product. Step number two, exfoliating the house. Exfoliation is absolutely critical for me whenever I experience any type of breakouts. The reason why is because exfoliation gets rid of all the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin that usually build up to block our pores and make it more difficult to recover from a breakout. When you exfoliate your skin, you're basically taking off an entire layer of dirt and skin, which means your skin can breathe, it can produce new skin cells in a healthy fashion, and best of all, it'll clear up the acne and make your skin glowy and beautiful. So there's a few different exfoliation products I'm gonna talk about here, but the main one is one that I'm actually happy to say that I'm sponsored by. It is the Neutralize Renewal Complex. It is the, it is the, neutral, it is the Neutralize Renewal Complex it is the neutralized it is the Neutralized Renewal Complex Moisturizer. This product is so freaking awesome because it's formulated with not only salicylic acid, the ingredient I was talking about before, but also mandelic acid, which it shows in studies that when mandelic acid and salicylic acid are paired together, it makes the exfoliation ability of the product way more effective. In addition, I also love this because a lot of times when you find products out there formulated for breakouts or acne, they will include a lot of stripping alcohols or essential oils that can really overly irritate the skin. This product is 
fragrance free, which I absolutely love. And one of the reasons I also love it is because it works well for a spot treatment or for all over the face. This one was the primary product that I used during this time of getting over my breakouts. And I was so impressed with the results because it never felt like my skin was dry, irritated or stripped, but I saw visible results in terms of my pores being more clean and the breakouts going down much more rapidly. Another one of the reasons why I do like this product so much as well is because of the low price point. I used barely any of this product, so I would expect for most people it would last a really long time. And with a low price point, you just can't go wrong. Now, one thing is salicylic acid is an amazing ingredient to have in a cleanser, which is why I recommended it before, but it's not quite as effective as a product that you leave on your skin, which is why I think it's so important that when you are experiencing a breakout, you should use a product that has salicylic acid and leave it on your face either throughout the night or throughout the day, depending on what your preference is, just because you want to be able to get the full exfoliation ability. And because this is paired with mandelic acid as well, it means you're going to be getting really good results. And something I love about mandelic acid is that it's proven to be a really good exfoliant when paired with salicylic acid, but it's not as intense as a lot of really strong exfoliants like glycolic acid, which means that people with more sensitive skin are better suited to use it. And when you're experiencing with a breakout, the last thing you want to do is to put something overly strong on your face that's really going to throw off the sensitivity of your skin. So while anyone can use this product, I think it's particularly ideal for people with more sensitive skin because of the mandelic acid that it's formulated with. You guys can find this on Amazon. I've linked it in the description box below. And like I said before, I was fortunate enough to be reached out to by Neutralize for a sponsorship. Thank you so much Neutralize for sponsoring this video. And of course, thank you guys as always for supporting me to be able to be at this point where I can accept sponsorships so that I can do YouTube for as long as possible in the future. Another exfoliation product I want to talk about though is the Ordinary 30% AHA Solution. I've talked about this in videos before, but one of the reasons I love it so much is because it gives you powerful exfoliation abilities, but you don't have to use it every single day. So say if you are using something like this every single day, but you may not be seeing as much results as you want or whatever product you're using, you're not seeing the full exfoliation ability. This product is so freaking good. Use it once a week for five to 10 minutes and you're good to go. And when I was experiencing my breakout, I used this multiple times because of how smooth and clear the skin looked afterwards every time I used it. It just really was a good product for me. Step number four is that I used a niacinamide treatment. If you don't know what niacinamide is, it's an incredible ingredient for controlling oiliness and sebum production within the skin. It also soothes any sensitivity and redness you may be having and is great for anywhere you're experiencing acne. Niacinamide has been one of those hero ingredients that I like constantly look for now because of the incredible results that I saw while while using it during my breakouts. And the main one I recommend is also from The Ordinary. It's the Niacinamide 10% Serum. It's so freaking good. I really love the results of this one. And I think Niacinamide is really important for anyone who struggles with breakouts because a lot of times after you go through a breakout, you'll notice dark spots across your skin, which is acne scarring. And a lot of times it's really difficult to get rid of those. Niacinamide has been the way that I've been able to get rid of mine because it's a brightening agent, which means it's just gonna fade those dark spots gradually over time. And every time I experience a breakout, I usually see the dark spots go down in about a week after using this product. And then the fifth most important and probably least expected solution to breakouts is wear a sunscreen. Use a sunscreen and stay out of the sun as much as possible. There is this myth that if you are experiencing a breakout, you should go tan in the sun because the sun is really gonna heal them up. Wrong, completely wrong. That is only further damaging your skin because sun exposure is really harmful. And when your skin is already struggling with its health, why would you want to pose it to more health risks and hinder the healing process at all. So whatever type of sunscreen you can get your hands on, I highly, highly recommend it. I've always recommended the Ren Clean Screen SPF 30. This one's so good because it only includes zinc oxide, which is the best ingredient for anyone who is struggling with a lot of sensitivity from sunscreens, which is pretty common among people who break out a lot. I used this every day and I loved the results that I saw with my breakout. It's just good to make sure that you're protecting your skin as much as possible. And I definitely saw it with this product. And there you have it guys, my five steps to getting rid of my breakout. How I was able to get over this horrific experience. No, it actually wasn't that bad. It did show me like which products work best for my skin. And it really helped me figure out what the most important critical steps of recovering from a breakout are. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I wanna hear your thoughts. What strategies have you used? What doesn't work? We wanna hear them because because bitch, we need help with our acne. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.